Hey guys, what's up? You're watching Up and Adam. My name's Adam Newell. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm the guy bringing you guys all the weekly interviews and recaps from your favorite celebrities and pop culture influencers. Now, of course, today is no different. Today, we are back to talk about Vicki Gumbelson's fiance, Steve Lodge, and this run for governor. Apparently, the polls are in. It's not in his favor, but we're going to get to all of those details. Guys, if you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. Because, well, you don't want to miss anything we have coming up. Now with that, let's jump right in. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. All right, guys, so it's reported that the Real Housewives of Orange County, former star, will not be the first lady of California after all. Steve Lodge announced that he would be running for governor in June and embarked on a whole campaign tour with Vicky shortly thereafter and only received a small portion of the vote. It's actually, oh, when they say small, it's small. And ultimately, much to Lydia McLaughlin's dismay, Governor Gavin Newsom remains in office. Okay, so according to the New York Times, Steve, who's a Republican, received 12,617 of the 5,057,345 total votes, okay? This was accounted for about 0.2% of the total votes, and this landed him in 27th place out of 46 potential candidates. Ouch, okay. Meanwhile, the winner of the California recall replacement vote, Larry Elder, also a Republican who brought in 2,373,551 votes, which marked him at 46.9% of the total votes. That's like a, oh, okay. It sounds like a little bit of a landslide compared to Steve Lodge. Ah. Now, despite the efforts of some of the California voters who were trying to force the current governor to step down, Gavin Newsom, um, the recall election resulted in just 36.1% of California residents voting to have him removed, far less than the much needed 50%. Okay. Amid the California recall election on Tuesday, former Real Housewives of Orange County cast member, Lydia, we all remember her and her mom with her fairy dust and she had a magazine. We remember Lydia. If you also remember, Vicki Gumbelson's son-in-law told her mom to get her effing feet off the couch. It was a whole thing. It was atrocious the way he was talking to her. But that's Lydia, okay? So she shared a photo of her ballot with her fans and followers on Instagram, confirming that she voted for Governor Gavin Newsom to be removed from office and asking for the opinion of her online audience. Now, she also posted a screenshot from one of her followers who claimed that they were unable to vote. They said, we tried to vote in person. They said we already voted when we actually had it. I hope and pray it's an honest count. Ugh. Okay. Now, Lydia did ask the rest of her followers and fans, has anyone else had this problem? But after suspecting that not everyone's vote was being counted, Lydia did return to her Instagram story where she accepted the reported outcome of the vote. Well, you win some, you knew some. Clever. She wrote in a caption, and she also said, praying for you, Governor Gavin Newsom, as you lead our beautiful state. At least she's not being a sore loser about it, but I moved from California. I know a lot of people aren't happy with Governor Gavin Newsom leading California. There's a lot to be said here. And voter fraud, that's one of the biggest question marks over the last year. Everyone is suspecting in some regard that there could potentially be voter fraud, whether it's with the presidency, the government. I hate talking about politics, but we're here to talk about Vicki Gumbelson and Steve Lodge. Now, while Vicki Gumbelson's son, Michael Wolfsmith, and also her son-in-law, Ryan Culberson, have not yet commented on this, it is sort of safe to say that they're somewhere celebrating because they were not team, they weren't team Steve Lodge become the governor. That was very obvious. They have been pretty outspoken. They just haven't spoken out yet when it comes to this. I'm so curious what you guys think, though, because at the end of the day, I really feel like Vicki Gumbelson was, you know, hoping that Steve Lodge's efforts would land him as the governor and she would be the first lady. I think she was looking forward to it. And I understand that her son was like, I hope that my mom is not funding this. But we don't know that. And I believe she said that she wasn't. 
So I guess it's maybe back to the Real Housewives of Orange County for Vicky. One thing I have to give Vicky, though, is she is one of the few with an actual thriving business. She has always said since day one, what do you do when the show's over? You need to make money somehow. And she has. She has an amazing insurance company who's just, I mean, it's making her millions of dollars. Vicky Gumbelson is out here killing it. She doesn't need the show. She doesn't need to be first lady of California, but I'm sure it would have been a fun little ride for her. Hmm. All right. Well, we also know that the Real Housewives of Orange County season 16, they're filming and we will be getting a cameo from Vicki Gumbelson on one of the cast trips as per Heather Debro. We don't know in what capacity, how we'll see her, how much of her that we'll actually see, but we do know we'll see a little bit of her. So it's something to look forward to, I think. I mean, are you guys into it? And also, I have a question about this Steve Lodge run for governor. Do you guys feel like he ever stood a chance in the first place? Because I honestly was kind of thinking in my head, oh shit, he might be able to pull this off. But with 0.2% of the total vote, it doesn't really seem that way. With a little over 12,000 votes for him, after over 5 million people voted, I don't know who funded this campaign tour, but it looks like, it looks, well, obviously it didn't work. Ah, okay. All right, we also know, and I've talked about this before, if you guys haven't caught the video on it, just an update, and I'll give it to you really quick. Bronwyn Wyndham Burke has left Hawaii, and now she is moving to New York City. She and her girlfriend, Fernanda Rocha, have broken up, and apparently she's looking at apartments during New York Fashion Week. She's ready for a new ride. So what's going to come of that? We don't actually know, but we'll be sticking around watching. I saw a lot of the comments from you guys on the video though. And you guys were like, I'm so sick of this woman. She's giving me whiplash. She's all over the place. What the hell is she doing with her life? She has seven kids. And I was like, Hope, don't shoot the messenger. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Well, from you, I need you guys to comment below. Give me your thoughts on all of this. How are you feeling about this? And how do you feel about the upcoming season, season 16 of The Real Housewives of Orange County? They should be wrapping filming any time within the next month or so. Then I'm sure probably by December, November, December, we will get a trailer for the show. I think this is going to be one hell of a season. We'll see. We'll keep our eyes open. Is it ears open and eyes pierced or eyes open and ears pierced? One of them. We'll keep them both. <laughs> All right. Happy Wednesday, guys. And don't forget, tonight is the night where we get to watch the next episode of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Make sure to tune into that because we will be back tomorrow to talk about it. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys. And I'll see you guys so very soon. Bye, guys.